In a joint statement issued after Mr. Wang met with Eritrean counterpart Usman Saleh, the two sides said the sanctions imposed in November amounted to external interference, even as Eritrea pledged to support the One China policy on what constitutes the actual foreign representation of China abroad. Both sides agreed to uphold the common values of peace, development, fairness, justice, democracy and freedom for all mankind and oppose hegemonic interferences in the internal affairs of other countries under the pretext of democracy and human rights, the dispatch indicated. The Chinese side stands against any unilateral sanction on Eritrea. The Eritrean side reaffirms adherence to the One China principle. The One China policy upheld by most African countries except the Kingdom of Eswatini says Beijing is the capital of China and only Beijing can send diplomats abroad to represent what is known as the People's Republic of China. It is the byproduct of lobbying by Beijing for the world to ignore the pleas of Taiwan, officially known as the Republic of China, from seeking international recognition.